Hello my friend, I'm C.K. White, and I have an important question for you. How can you understand the Bible better? I mean, how can you get more out of the Bible every time you read it? Well, that's coming up next on Revive. Hello and welcome to Revive. If you are looking for a place where you can grow in the Lord, a place where you can learn simple Bible truths that will help you in your Christian faith, then you have come to the right place. If it's your first time here, we'd like to ask you to subscribe to our channel and turn on that little bell notification so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Thank you so much for taking the time to do that. Success or failure? Success or failure? Well, if you want to succeed in the Christian life, that's going to depend on you. That will depend on how much you get into the Bible, how much you apply the Bible to your life, and how much you are obedient to the Word of God. The songwriter wrote it this way, I love the old Bible, the precious old Bible, the light of my pathway to shine, and it keeps me so happy, always so happy, God's wonderful book, divine. I bet you didn't know you were going to get a song out of this video, did you? But I love the Bible. In fact, that song says that Bible, the Bible keeps us happy. And it does keep us happy. And it will help us to succeed in our Christian life. You might be saved and know John 3.16. However, you will not be a happy Christian without applying the Word of God to your life and diving into the Bible. The more you work the Bible, the better you will be. The more you dive into the Bible on a regular basis, the faster you will grow as a child of God. Jesus said it like this in John chapter 13, verse 17. If ye know these things, happy are ye if ye do them. And then in John 8, 31, Jesus said these words. If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. And so we must get in to the Word of God. So what we have to understand is that God desires us to understand the Bible. You see, my friend, the Bible was not written for theologians or for scholars. The Bible was written for common, ordinary men. It wasn't written for me as a pastor necessarily to get up and preach the Word of God. It was written for you and I as normal, everyday Christians. In 1 John chapter 1, verse 4, the Bible says that it is written to the little children. And so the Bible is so simple for us to understand. And it's God's desire that every single one of us understand the Word of God. Now, if you read the Bible 15 minutes every single day, what you will accomplish is you will read the Bible through in an entire year. During that time, you will read major commands, major precepts, and major principles. You will have studied important chapters and also important verses in the Bible. And most importantly, during those 15 minutes every day, you will develop a working knowledge of the Word of God. Romans 10, 17 says these words, So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. So in the description below, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some tools, some very practical tools to help you to study the Bible in a deeper way, to help you to go deeper in your Bible study. If you go down to that description area and click that link in that description area, you'll learn some of the tools that I use in studying the Bible. And what I'd like to ask you to do is take time after watching this video and go down to the comment section and leave some comments of some tools that you use in studying the Bible in a better way. So let me give you just four simple truths on how to get more out of your Bible study. How to get more out of studying the Bible. The first one is this. You've got to study the Bible with a regenerated mind. Now, what that means is you have to be saved. If you'd like to know more about how to be born again, then I'm going to leave a link up here in the description and you'll have to watch this video. I put out this video on how you can know for sure that when you die you're going to heaven. You'll have to watch that video and that'll teach you how to have a regenerated mind. But you stop and think, if you want to know the Word of God, you've got to know the author. And so what we have to do is we have to be saved, we have to be born again in order to understand the Bible in a deeper way. 
Now what happens when a person trusts Christ as their Savior is that the Holy Spirit of God comes to live within us. And every time we take the Bible as believers and read the Word of God, then the Holy Spirit of God who dwells within us is our teacher. And He teaches us the spiritual truths that God would have for us. This is why it's so important that as we read the Bible, that we read it with a regenerated mind, being born again. You see, a lost person cannot understand the Bible completely because they do not know its author. And the author of the Bible is God. And so the question that's important for us to understand at the foundation of this lesson is do you know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior? Do you know for sure when you die that you're going to heaven? If not, watch that video that we talked about earlier and you'll discover how you can put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. Hey, I'd like to take a moment and ask you to do something for me. Why don't you take a moment and just smash that like button that you have right there below this video if you are enjoying the content that we've been producing so far. Not only do we need to study the Bible with a regenerated mind, but we also need to study the Bible with a meditating mind. We need to meditate on the Word of God. Psalm 1 verses 1 and 2 says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And then I'm going to read verse 3. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither. Now watch this last part. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. You see, whatever I do, God promises that whatever I do, that it can prosper if I am meditating on the Word of God. You can live a blessed life. You can live a happy life if you will dive into the Bible and meditate on the Word of God. Not only a regenerated mind is how we need to study the Bible, but a meditating mind. I think the best way for me to describe that is to think of a cow. And what a cow will do is a cow will chew that grass through the day or chew that hay throughout the day. It will swallow it in the first stomach. And then that cow has a way of bringing it back up. They call that the cow's cud. And so he chews on grass that has already been chewed up and, and put into the stomach. And that, I think, is a good way of describing what meditation is all about. You see, we get into the Bible, and then we get a verse in our mind. And then throughout the day, we are meditating on that verse. We're bringing it back up. We're taking that verse and trying to apply that verse to our lives and the principles of the Word of God throughout our daily life. We are meditating on the Word of God. It's like a sponge. We take You take a sponge and you put a sponge in water. And what does a sponge do? It just soaks up that water. And that's what our mind needs to be like, a sponge. As we get into the Word of God, we soak up the Word of God and we meditate upon the Word of God throughout our day. Not only do you study the Bible with a regenerated mind, but also a meditating mind. Number three, we need to study the Bible with a teachable heart. We need to ask God to open our heart, and as we get into the Bible and begin reading the Bible, we need to ask the Lord to begin to teach us the spiritual truths that God has for us. Every time I open the Word of God and I begin to study the Word of God, I'm looking for a truth to change my life. I'm looking for one of those principles or precepts to transform my life. I want to keep a heart that would be open to the Lord and asking God to teach me the truths that God would have for me every time I take the Bible and I open the Bible. A teachable heart is so important. And then lastly, we need to study the Bible with a shareable desire. Now let me say this. We share information every single day. I mean, think about the amount of information that we consume every single day. We consume information from the internet. We consume information from our social media. We can bring in information from reading material or from uh, the television. We are bringing in so much information every single day. And what many of us do is we take that information that we have consumed and we share that information with others. 
For instance, we might watch on the news what the weather is going to be like. So we share the weather report with our neighbor. We might, on social media, read something, an interesting article. And what we do on our social media accounts is we might share that article with someone that we love or someone we care about. We, we talk about sports and something we may have read in the newspaper or seen on the internet about our favorite sports team. We share that with others. We are consuming so much information and then we are used to sharing that information with others. And so what I want to encourage you to do as you take your Bible and you're studying your Bible, ask God to give you some truth to share. I mean, think about it. When was the last time that you sat down with your family, the last time that you sat down with a friend, a co-worker, and began to share the truths of the Word of God, something that God has taught you that day as you began to read the Word of God? When was the last time you took that truth and shared it with someone else? And so we need to be sharing the Word of God. Now here's what I'd like to do. I'd like to give you folks that have stayed with me towards the end of this video a free Bible study. It's called a Go Deeper Bible Study. We're developing this thing and going to put this thing out to help you to dive deeper into the Word of God. If you will go down to the description area below and click that link to that Go Deeper Bible Study, then I'll give that to you free. So go down to that link and click on that link right now. And if you're interested in more training teaching and tips just like this video then I want to encourage you to watch these two videos right over here take a look at those two videos and and you'll learn some more things that I've put out there in those videos I hope this video has been a help to you today thank you so much for spending some time with me today God bless you have a great week